Hey! So, I don't usually film from home, but welcome to the bedroom. Um, I'm, I wanted to do a longer video about this topic, but uh, things are moving so fast and happening quickly and really cool. So, I just said, okay, whatever, I'm going to throw together a really quick uh, update video on the ringing machine. If you're interested in that sort of thing, this is really exciting stuff. Um, so, uh, we got a new ringing machine into the museum. And so it, it came with the power frames and with all the proper stuff that we need to use it. This particular ringing machine came out of a central office. It was a panel central office, um, and it was uh, a ringing machine that was actively used for many years. And we ended up getting it spun up and working. Um, so it's, it's still a work in progress, and I'm going to do a whole video on that. But I just kind of wanted to preface with um, that's happening. Um, the second bit is that uh, Jay, the volunteer who's currently working on this project uh, with me, Jay uh, and I were talking today, and we kind of thought, like, well, what if we get the big ringing machine spinning? So the the big one, uh, I don't know, I, I talked about this in a previous video. Operate. Also, I'm told that it was dropped when they brought it here, and they repaired it with Bondo and painted over it. This machine does spin very nicely, so it could run, but I don't think it'll ever ring phones again. At least not without recasting the steel in the middle part here. And, and anyway, um, you know, I w basically we were told since, since, since I've been at the museum that that machine will never work again. And um, I don't know where that story came from, um, but I, I kind of was convinced, I guess, in my ignorance that like, oh my God, we can never start this. It'll never run. If we do start it, it's going to, you know, sprout wings and fly away. And at, at one point, Jay just decided like, just spin it. What can possibly happen? And then I guess I was stupid enough to like, you know, hold there and hold, stand there and squeeze some wires together uh, with them. So we got it spinning today. And more importantly, um, we got the um, 20 hertz, 90 volts AC output for bell ringing. We got that to output the right voltage. Here's why that's cool. The story goes, and I don't know the origin of this, but the story goes that when the ringing machine was being brought to the museum, they dropped it. Um, visual evidence kind of confirms that. Um, there's gray paint where there shouldn't be gray paint, so obviously something was repainted. Um, there's also some scratches on it in a particular place that looks really suspicious. So it's pretty evident that there was some damage to it. And the way that I heard the story, they dropped it on the uh, sort of the pole pieces of the field magnet right in the middle, and it would never, it's never going to make uh, bells ring ever again. So today, um, kind of said to Jay, let's just power up that field and see what kind of voltage we get off it. We can spin the motor, we can power the field, and I can just measure something, and we'll know if that's good or bad. And we did. Uh, so what follows is sort of the only very slightly edited video of our enthusiasm and excitement. Um, this was all happening in real time, so it's it's sort of unfiltered. By the way, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Stephen Blair. This is their video. They came in uh, for a visit today, and this was something that they shot. So, yeah, check it out. Uh, we're, we don't have any selenium rectifiers in the circuit right now. Um, Jay might blow up a power resistor. Oh um, man, it's not happy with me. Oh, it got, it got angry? It, it's angry. Okay. It doesn't pass the leaky finger test. Okay. Alright, so should I go back and... Uh... No, no. Well, here Ooh. we go. Alright. Uh, 20, 24 volts, 34 volts, over limit for some reason. How high does oh, that because oh, that thing it takes a little while to, to uh... Yeah, it just gets like 40 volts and then goes over limit. Do you want to use my meter? It'll, 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 it'll uh, eventually figure it well, out. Well, I don't it want doesn't. this to... It doesn't? No. It, it, I don't... Alright, 
So, all right, so now that we're here, we have to explain what's going on. Yeah, please explain uh, what's going on. I wish I had an analog meter, you know, one with a needle on it. I mean, we do. I don't want to swing the... <laughs> I don't so, want something in every central office has to generate all of the different call progress right. tones, right? The busy signal, the dial tone, the your phone Limit. has been off the hook for too long signal, all those things, right? 65 and volts, 70 volts, 77 volts, 80, 85 volts, how, how 90 fast, volts. How fast is this supposed to stand? About like that. Okay. 90 volts. This magnet in spite of what we thought. This magnet fine. works. This magnet works. This is the machine spinning at full speed, giving us 20 hertz AC. Love it. All right. So, and, so, so, and the signal that causes phones to ring, right? All of those voltages okay. have to get generated okay, somehow. the resistor so it's not danger of catching fire. Okay. Now, since the museum has been new 30 years ago, We've been using a little ringing machine that's just in a gray cabinet with doors on it that's kind of boring. Yes. That is sitting down further down there. Oh man, look at these things. Man, those Shoot. are really skinny. And, and Sarah has really for years wanted us to have a real ringing machine. First time you've gotten this thing running? Uh, the first real yeah. time. We, we, we screwed with it a couple times before, and we made a resistor turn red. But we didn't actually have the field hooked up, so now we're actually measuring output. Wow! So we've got a heartbeat. That's so really exciting. Very exciting. Great. That project, which required what is it? Driving all over the country to collect parts, um, and. Tons yeah. of heavy lifting because <laughs> That's great. the machines are crazy heavy and hard to move. That's really great. Anyway, so, so. Um, so that is all so cool. Uh, I am over the moon about this. This is, it's so neat to have these machines uh, starting to get life in them again. Um, like I said, uh, a real video is coming out really soon. I have the script written. I just need to like turn on the camera and start filming. So this will hopefully um, wet your appetite or hold you over until then. And then we also have uh, a lot more DMS 10 content coming as, as well. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love. <laughs> so obviously they're excited. Oh man, look at him go! Yeah, this is great. So yeah, this is the... Well, we've gotten it spinning before, but this is the first time that it so has... Why did we even drive the little one in here? But we didn't know that this one... We were told this one wouldn't work. Wouldn't work. 